Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge. And this is day two of our productivity coaching mini series. Today, I'm blessed to have my friend Mike Hillary with us today. Mike is the regional technology trainer for the Mid America region, a former MCA, and uh, really an expert in all things back in command, Winmore, you name it. So, Mike, I'm thankful to have you here. How are you today? Good, good. Excited to be part of the challenge. This awesome. will be fun. Yeah, for sure. So today we're going to talk about how do we add and probably more importantly, remove people from the pro coach team within command. So let's talk first of all, how do we add people to the pro coach team? What's the easiest way or best practice as far as that? Goes? Yeah, so if this is your first time setting up the team. Uh, to be honest, the easiest answer is going to be to give your MCA a list of all the individual agents you want to add into the productivity coaching team because they do that on the back end that's not something you can do as rainmaker is add anybody to the team uh, of course you always want to have that signed coaching contract as well so once you get that initial group in if you have people join later uh, let's show you a really easy way to add these while within command Right, so I'm in my team account here. Uh, as the Pro Coach A login, you can do this as well under the uh, what is it, Market Center number Coaching Team A. Yep. Jump into Settings. Under General Settings is Team Management. Here you'll see the list of everybody who's been added to this team. Right, the Pro Coach A will be the Rainmaker and the team leader on here. So you can add other members this route. So there's this green button, add member. It's going to ask you what type of person you're adding. Well, if this is an agent, you're going to add them as a team member, right? Because they already have a win more profile. And so as far as like what your MCA really needs to know to pull this off, this is a pretty complete picture in my mind. So I can add, I promise I can type today, Marty. Mm -hmm. Still right. watching, right? <laughs> right. So phone number, email, and then as far as agent role, you can really pick whatever here. Uh, the MCA is going to use a certain type of role on the back end, but this tells us, hey, we know this is for the coaching program. And I can hit submit, and then the MCA department, as well as I think the OP, they get a notification by Kelly and in their email saying, hey, so-and-so has requested that you add this person to your team. Fantastic. So starting it off, basically, you wouldn't have to go member by member by member if we're trying to add 25 people. It may just be easier to give the MCA the list, but then as you're onboarding people throughout the next year, this would be a quick and easy way to add onesies, twosies, somewhere in that range. Yeah, absolutely, right? What's so the turnaround time? If somebody, so if I submit a request, mm -hmm. you know, and the MCA is Johnny on the spot and is putting them in, how long does that typically take to show up? Uh, I've seen it as quick as 15 minutes after the MCA inputs them. Okay, so once they put them in the team tool, then they'll start showing up, hopefully within that same time frame inside yeah. of the account. And this is where the pro coach can go to actually see who's on the team, correct? Right, and this is where they can go validate that list. Awesome. Guys, I see uh, permission levels in there. We are going to talk about permission levels and some best practices there on a future video. So just so you know, uh, you can hold those questions until we get to those videos. So, Mike, what's it look like for the MCA to actually add somebody to command or to a team? They're doing that not inside of command, correct? No, they're doing this in our team tools, which is still through my KW, right? So if they're a member of multiple market centers, they'll choose the correct organization here, right? So I have all the Chicago locations. The the team is specially coded by KWRI and uses the same name structure across every market center. So it'll be MC, whatever your number is, coaching team A for your first team. And as you covered yesterday, if you need to request additional teams, you'll see team B, team C, team D on this list as well. And so it's probably important if you do have more than one team that you notify the MCA which team you want that person added to. Yes, uh, the clearer the better, right? Don't assume we remember. Okay, sounds good. Now, now, go ahead. So 
it's the same process as adding anybody else to the team, right? So I get my team information, do not edit the team name. We use that as a critical data point uh, when it comes to reports and awards, right? But we can just jump in, see on our associates list, so I can find me real quick, right? If an individual is available, we can mark the checkbox and click Add Selected. It's important to note um, one person can only belong to one team in the team tool. So for example, you see I have my demo team here under my killery. I can't also be part of the Pro Coach A team. That's why there's no checkbox next to your name because you're already on a team. Correct. Got it. Okay. Good to know. All right. So we've talked about how best practices for adding uh, pro mm -hmm. coaches go love on your MCAs. Sounds like we might make a little bit of work for them, but we know that that's probably a strong relationship already. So continue to make it stronger. Mike, I think it's important. We, we always talk about getting them in. What do we need to think about when it comes time to offboard somebody from the coaching team? Yeah, this is probably the most important piece to really get solid. Because remember, these are individual businesses that at some point are going to graduate from your program. And so we have to be really intentional about how we handle the contacts, the tags, the smart plans, and the opportunities. So I always start with smart plans and tags here. So when moving a contact record from the team account to the personal account, the tags set up on the team aren't going to travel through, right? They don't make it through the Stargate, right? Neither do the smart plans. So you may want to jump in on that contact record and just make a quick note in that timeline with, okay, here's the tags it had while it was in the pro coach team. And here's this the smart only, plans. This is only if the pro coach sets it up so that the agents are adding all of their contacts to the team account, correct? Correct, yeah. Okay. If the agent's contacts live in their personal account, none of that is necessary. Okay. So again, coaches, there's different ways to do this. Some of you are going to have your agents move all of them. Some may have none moved. Some will maybe only move the ones involved in transactions, but we just want to make sure it's clear that when you offboard, um, we don't want to leave a foul taste in the mouth of the agents that you just had a great experience with during the last 12 months or whatever your time period may be. So make notes about tags is what I heard. Make notes mm -hmm. about smart plans because neither of those carry over when they get their uh, personal accounts back. Mm -hmm. uh, what else do we need to think about? So with opportunities, they uh, operate a little differently. So as long as the agent was named as an assignee on that room, they'll always be able to go find that opportunity under the All Opportunities tab. Why don't we show opportunities right now? Because I'm not sure yeah. all of the pro coaches have seen what it looks like when you're in a team account, the new tab that gets added. So Mike actually is gonna have four tabs across the top and that first mm -hmm. one is now actually his team. So that would actually say pro coach, whatever your team name may be as far as the team name for the agent. Yeah, so, it'll say coaching team A, right? 1047, yeah, there you go. It'll there, then it'll have their name and then every opportunity, regardless of which of those two pipelines it's on, will be visible under all opportunities as long as you haven't archived it. So if I'm offboarded and I still have opportunities that are live inside of the team pipeline, mm -hmm. I can go to all opportunities and that's where I'll see them, correct? Correct. Actually, most of what you're seeing is from my previous market center. Okay, so they don't have to worry about recreating those in their personal pipeline or anything like that. The documents are still there. The permission request will still be there. Everything will still be live. You'll just be working it from inside of this tab. Bingo. Got it. Okay, perfect. What else do we need to keep in mind when we're offboarding agents? Uh, those are really kind of the big ones, right? You want to make sure those items are in line before migrating contacts across. Okay, excellent. So basically, have a be thinking with the end in mind when you start this off. It sounds like. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not just a uh, it's not just an idea for goal setting. It's a practical must for any type of business system like this. Excellent. Well, pro coaches, we're going to talk more and more about uh, command and the pro coaching account as we move forward. Mike, any closing thoughts or comments, anything that we didn't get across that we need to get across to our coaches today? Um, you know, I think they're going to be in really good shape. It just If you really need help with this, don't hesitate to reach out to your regional tech trainer. 
I like, agree. We are here to help you set this up in a way that matches exactly what you need. I have a market center in our region who's going to end up using four of these PC teams, just the way they have their program set up in their market center and the business center. Sure. And I think these videos, right, that we're going to be putting out, it, these are going to be best practices, recommendations, although it's somewhat of a choose your own adventure novel and that there are different ways to get to the, uh, you know, whether you take the mountain or you take the river, you're still going to get to the valley in the end. And that's where we want our agents to end up. So um, we'll look forward to continuing to put these videos out and sharing those with you. Mike, thank you very much for your time. I appreciate you sharing your knowledge and wisdom with uh, the productivity coaches on this video. It's always great working with you. And uh, guys, as always, we'll look forward to talking to you again real soon. Thank you.